I was 18 years old when I first came aboard this ship, and I'm over 90 years old now, and this ship is still here. I'm still here. <laughs> And it's remarkable, really. There's not many guys who have served on ships during World War II that have the ships to go to. Battleship Texas has been here since 1948 in a brackish berth. And one of the original plans of preservation was to fill the bottom portions of the ship with water so that she would sit hard in the berth. And if there was any kind of hurricane, that kind of event, she would be safe. From 88 to 90, that was the only time we've really done any major repair work or, or a real comprehensive preservation work on the ship. So she's looking at 60 plus years of a fairly harsh environment. Where we're at right now, we experienced some pretty devastating leaks that flooded and did um, some damage interior to the ship and she was sinking, uh, taking on water, created a, a pretty emergency situation. Our most pressing concern in the material condition of the ship is the structural support toward the last half or third of the ship. The structure support underneath the boilers, the, the engines, the steering gear, the heavy pieces of the machinery. When the ship was brought here in 1948, it was filled with water and sunk, basically. But over the course of the next 40 years, that water on the inside caused a lot of deterioration. So those structural members, they're very deteriorated, upwards to 80, 90% in some cases. So obviously whenever we take on water, when we flood or we have a low tide event and we impact the bottom of the berth, that puts extra stress. That's our real concern. But also this is one of the reasons why it was determined she can't be towed. The movement of the ship, just pulling her out of her berth and pushing her down would put stress on those. And we have great concerns um, that engines might fall out of the bottom of the ship or the, the boilers might fall through. The good thing is we are going to do some substantial repairs to the ship and rebuild some of the structure that is very seriously deteriorated. And no matter what the future of the ship is, those will be uh, repairs that, that make her um, more survivable down the road. And they will be necessary repairs if we were going to put her in a dry berth or if we were going to keep her in the wet. So either way, it's money well spent, and it's a necessary first real construction step, no matter what we do. You know, when this ship was first chosen to be a museum, the uh, citizens of Houston and Texas, they just donated a lot of money. Uh, maybe it was just a, a little bit from each one, but they donated a lot of money. And I would like to see this happen again, really, because I think that's what we need to save this thing. It's very special. Well, you know, this ship is so much a part of American and Texas history, and it's the only ship left like her. To be able to preserve her for, uh, for the future, for our young people that, that come on board here, we need to, to, to make sure that she's available for them to see and to understand how important, you know, she was to the uh, uh, American history.